What's going on, Feed the Beasters? JD here with another episode of JD Plays Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved on the Zekrid server. And we're back for the next episode. Funness. Last time it was mostly looking around the base and seeing what all had gotten started, and we didn't really get time to actually get anything new with you guys. Um, I did finish the auto repair sorting system so right down here this sucker now works appropriately and it's, it's all cleaned up got a couple of more little things that I can do to make it a little cleaner which we'll probably end up doing but just down below my feetsies that's the wrong tool it helps if we use the right tools here is the final product for the time being so quick explanation of the system um, we have items, and uh, we talked about this last time, coming out of the uh, uh, ender chest, passing into the item en enchantment router. Any enchants I want will be placed into this diamond chest, which will get sucked out into the auto disenchanter, putting the book up appropriately. The other items, the remaining items, they'll be blocked on the green and the yellow side, leaving the only available side to travel down as the black side, which is down here. You can tell that by the black corners. Anything that comes down this path will first hit this garbage can, and if it happens to be leather or a bow of any kind, I'm ignoring meta and I'm ignoring NBT data, this is a whitelist, it will be allowed to go into the garbage can and we'll get rid of it. Anything else will travel down the pipes and go to their appropriately designated chest. I am not currently handling iron armor, we'll handle that down the road, but all of the chain is on this side of the room, all of the gold is on this side of the room, and the gold swords are right here. Once the items enter these chests, they are sucked out into one side or the other into these mini chests. Mini chests have one inventory slot. The idea there is that by using that one inventory slot with a logic gate, such as this one right here, we know that this mini chest has an item inside of it because the rule on this logic gate says if you have an item in your inventory, activate this blue pipe signal. That's why it's glowing. In the middle of these, there is a third, so one, two gates. This one operates the red wire, this one operates the blue wire. The third one is going to read, if I have a red pipe signal on and I have a blue pipe signal on, I will activate a redstone signal. It takes both conditions being true for this to happen. This one is true right now, but this one's not, so it isn't completing the journey to create the redstone signal. When it does, when a redstone signal does get created, it will send that redstone signal to this piece of uh, item conduit, activating it, forcing it to pull the items out of here and here. At least that's, you know, in theory, that's what we want to have happen. Therefore, it should force two items to travel up the pipe and into the auto anvil. So we should always get two items in there. So it should never clog up and hang up on us. That's, that's what we're hoping for. I don't know that it's going to work 100% perfect. I've seen it have one little flaw and it raised a concern in my mind, but so far it's worked very cleanly and it's very nice. So, should an item... Oops, I've depleted my handy dandy jetpack. Should an item get in here and get repaired and it's full, it will be removed via this path. Although I'm missing the chain leggings right now and it'll get sucked over and go into this chest where all my fully repaired items go. Anything that is not fully repaired will get sucked out the back and it will come back around and re-enter the system from back here in through the ender chest. And it will go through the same process going where it needs to go. Same thing for the auto disenchanter. If an item gets disenchanted from the auto disenchanter, it'll get sucked out the back and it'll get sent where it needs to go. In fact, I don't believe... Let's see... You're going to pull, you're going to pull. I don't believe that I need this as an in and out any longer. I think this is purely an insertion at this point. So, that system should work quite well for us for handling any uh, loot that happens to enter my mob traps. Now what I need is for another pair of those pants to come along and let me repair them so that I can set them up in the chest up top. Where is my... Oh, I 
Ugh. I'm bad, guys. I'm sorry. Jetpack. So, I got a cute couple things that I would like to make for this episode. Now, last time we talked about a nuclear reactor. And, you know, I'm probably what I'm going to do is include this episode with the last one, released on the same day, since last time it was mostly a tour of the base and, and what we've changed. Um, and that way you'll get to see me doing some cool stuff. I think that's a good, you know, we'll do two 30-minute episodes released on the same day back-to-back. -back. So that'll work. All right. What I would like to build. One of the things that I've been wanting is a painter. And what a painter does is it allows me to take these facades, which are, I have some, somewhere, right here. And you can paint these to match any block in the game to cover things like these uh, Ender I.O. conduits. They're freaking awesome. So it's a pretty simple recipe. We just need to make a chassis, some electrical steel, nether quartz, and a diamond. Okay. Now, I've got a chassis recipe behind me, but I know it's going to take a basic machine frame. And I've got one of those there. Look, seven resonant machine frames, boys and girls. Oh, giggity. And I think I put my metal bars somewhere like here. Yeah, because I was making these heat vents because I was getting ready to activate this nuclear reactor, which is going to happen in the future, but not right now. Right, let's grab these, mostly because I don't want to blow stuff up, and I will blow stuff up. It's going to happen. Throw this in there. Throw this in there. We need some lumium. Grab two of those. Toss those in there. We need some basic capacitors. Just basic. We don't need those super awesome ones. One. Oh, two. Look, there's two already made. Fancy schmancy. Throw these in there. Pull out a machine chassis. Hoorah. Wrong one. That's my ender stuff. Somewhere I have been building stuff like this. And I don't know where. Anyways, okay, what else do we need? Okay, we need steel, diamond, and nether quartz. Electrical steel is somewhere like uh, there, right? Yeah. We need one, two, three, four, five. Is that what it said? Yep. A little bit of nether quartz and a diamond. So one diamond. Oh yeah. A little bit of nether quartz. One, two. We'll use that. That's good. What's in here? Oh, my hazmat suit was made in there. I got you. I got you. Fancy. I think most of these tables are in use at this point in time. Could use that one. We're not going to. Um, we're just going to make it in here. Clickety, clickety, clackety. Alright, so we got us a painting machine. Let's grab some facades. Where did they go? There. Okay, so how this works. Hook her up to power. We need a paintbrush, I think. Maybe. I don't know. No, you don't. You just need the facade. So put your facades in. Put the block you want it to look like in first, actually. Then put the facades in. And it's going to start painting. And it's nice and slow. But there you go. I can speed this up real quick. Grab this. Blue, 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 blue. Beautiful. Pump them out for me. So we got eight facades. And they look just like what we were... Th this material we were using down here so let's drop down here and we'll show you how these things work so for example if I pop one in right here uh, and that was not smart of me they break just like regular blocks bam matches texture everything you can no longer see that my ender IO stuff is even there it's go just put one there put one there perfect way to hide your nasty work And so, like, you can tell that there's a gap behind this because of that border. If I come in here and do this little thing. And if I happen to be using, like, a wrench, you'll notice that they go uh, translucent. You can, you can still access the wires that are inside of them. That's one of the things that makes these things really special and awesome and just cool, in my opinion. And there you go. My wall now looks like it's solid. I can even hide this guy. So that's pretty pimp. Now, that covers that piece. And I'm what I'm probably going to end up doing now that I can make these facades is sinking these back a bit into the wall. 
and I'll have this pump them out from the same direction, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Whoops. Um, but that's going to allow me to hide things a lot better, and that's going to be really cool. Next thing. Uh, it still has to do with this room. Right now, I'm currently powering this room off of this 5 million RF uh, capacitor, and it works. It does its job. It's getting things done for me. We can do better than that, and we're going to do better than that. You know why? Because we're us, and us are good. Yeah. And I need some freaking coffee. I am tired. So tired. Alright. So, this big boy is storing 30 million RF in one, two, three, there's a fourth one above it, five, six, and then I've got that seventh one sitting down there right now. So I got seven of these. I can replace all of them with a single 25 million capacitor. Now let's look at what we need for that. Vibrant capacitor. We can either use two of these, some vibrant alloy and some octatics, along with a vibrant crystal. Vibrant crystal will take enderium nuggets, vibrant alloy nuggets, those are no problem really. An emerald electron tube, that's pretty easy. We can do this. We can do this. Let's see how much vibrant alloy we have before we get started. I see some there, right there. Vibrant alloy, none! Oh my gosh! Looky there, 62. Electron tubes, yes! We are set up to roll. Enderium! Enderios! Okay, let's make some nuggets. Boop! And this is the area that I've been making all my capacitors in. I don't really need this ore washing plant recipe to stay in there, nor do I need these. So let's throw that in there. Let's take this. And we'll grab two stacks. Why not? How much of the others did I make? Just nine? That's not going to do. Come on, man. Invest. S sink in fully. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start off with this. How's it going, minor girl? Welcome to my stream. Let's clear this recipe out real quick. So we've got the emerald electron tube there. We've got the vibrant alloy nuggets. Boop, 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 boop. There's the enderium. And there's our vibrant crystal. Okay, there's part one. Now we still need to get some octatics made. And I'll almost guarantee you we're going to have to make more stuff for that because octatics take eight basics each. And I've only got two basics and five lapis tubes. So I know I'm going to need more lapis tubes. Uh, looks like I'll have enough signalum. Later, Tog. Have a great night, buddy. I hope to see you again tomorrow. So looks like we're going to have enough of the blazing electron tubes. But we're definitely going to need to make some lapis. So let's go make some lapis tubes right quick. Do I have lapis on me? I have all of these up here. Are you kidding? Iron booties? What? What? Alright, let's grab some lapis. Shag on over to our thermionic fabricator. Toss those bad mamma jammas in there. Now, currently I've got that kicked off via the lever. So, lever, whatever, so that it's not wasting my power. Let's turn it on. Power is powering up. How are we doing on uh, Enderios over here? We need more Pyrothium, for one thing. And we need more Ender Pearls. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's drop one in there. And the other one, two. And we'll grab one more stack. Oh, I had them. I has them. There we go. Keep making Enderium for me. Alright, how are we doing on Lapis Tubes? Power up. Power up, baby. Go faster. There we go. Lapis. Let's get some more. Can never have too much lapis tubes. Because we make lots of octatics. Okay. We're going to take all those. Run back across our room because we're fat. Yeah, there we go. Drop these in there. Nope, that's the wrong one. I'm dumb. This one. Yep. Okay. Uh, ooh, I don't know if we have enough of those. Let's go see if we have some redstone chip sets over here in our assembly table. Yeah, we got plenty. Plenty of redstone. Let's run back. Drop these in there. Boop. Boop. All right. Takes eight of these 
per octatic. So there's one octatic. There is two octatics. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm lying. Ha! That's four octatics. Yeah! We're winning. Problem. We need ender electrons. For ender electrons, we need eye of ender. No problem. We need endstone. Eh, not really a problem, but I hate making it. Anyways, let's grab some of this. Not that much of this. Jesus. Throw that away. I have to throw away the wrong one. Because I'm a genius. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I am. Put that away. Or yes, ma'am. Whatever. And let's grab some enderpearls. Right here. Here we go. Yep. Smash. Okay. I think it's one enderpearl per sandstone to make endstone. And so we're going to need like 20 sand. Do I have sand? I has sand. Beautiful. Do I have sandstone? There you go. 16. So it's a one to one, maybe? So let's just go do this thing. I think we can just like throw it in the magma crucible, let it melt down. Bloop. And that should be going into here. Yep. And we can just throw this in there and let it come right back out. And that's going to make in stone for us right quick with some super awesome resonant ender on some sandstone. Bam. And we need five of these as well as two of these eye of ender to make ender electron tubes or something like that in here. So the recipe is something like this along with this. And this stuff is slow to make so enjoy your time. Be patient. I guess Minor Girl came, said hello, and left us there, Calder. Alright, do we have enough? I hope so. This next one should give us enough to do at least one round of them. And we'll leave the others to sit here and bake. Alright, so we'll toss those in. There we go. Four magical ender electron tubes. <clears throat> Throw this in. Okay, put some vibrant in there for us. And we'll pull out one, two, three, and four of these bad mamma jammas. Lock that recipe. Now we want to make, now I can use all four of those and get a single one, or I could divide this up and get a couple of them. We're going to go with the latter route of dividing them up. So we're probably going to want another one of these. So, yeah. So we're going to need four of our handy dandy capacitor units here. So let's take uh, one, two, three, four. Bring those bad boys over here. Yeah. There we go. And clear the grid. Click on you. Can I just shift click you, maybe? That, that'd be really sweet. Well, nope, it's not going to let me. Alright, put that in there. Put that in there. Pull that out. Boom. Put that in there. Put that in there. Pull that out. Boom. Awesome. We've got two vibrant capacitor banks. That's 50 million RF between those two. That is so cool. Now, that does maybe create one teeny tiny itty bitty little problem. Let's go take a look. Wait, when did I disconnect that? That should not be disconnected. Do I have a piece of power cable on me by chance somewhere in one of these super bags that I've got? Like one piece of cable? Maybe? I need to go find that piece of cable and hook that back up. Anyway. Um, in fact, I need that piece of cable now. Because that's really bad. There it is. Okay. I was like, I know. I just saw a piece of cable recently. I really need to upgrade from this uh, hardened flux duct. And that's one of the next things that we're going to be working on. And I'm looking forward to working on that, actually. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop this bad mamma jamma out. And this one out. And we're going to put this 25 million RF. 50 million RF can now be stored in our machine. 
that is awesome and oh it's just I'm very happy about this I don't know why I'm losing 140 RF2 though something running oh yeah that's running okay hold up I'm inputting 1460 and I'm outputting 1600 to what? what the hell is using my power I wonder if it's charging up capacitors or something up there. Because that shouldn't not be happening. I don't know. We'll check on that in a minute. We're going to let it run for a minute. Because that's really weird. Zero output. Nope. Max input. Sorry. <laughs> That's really weird. It's drain something is draining these. Did I hook something up wrong? Is that what we got going on here? Let's unhook that and see what happens. That's still going well, this is draining into this, I believe. Yeah, I don't know where all my power is going. Something running somewhere that I don't know about? Because that wasn't happening just a moment ago. Like, I realized that this is running. And that was for a minute. Turn that off now, though. So where is the other 100-point drain coming in at? This guy's not draining anything. Uh, pick him up. Move him to here. You're full, you're full. You're full. Uh, this doesn't make any sense. Well, I'm going to have to figure that out. We'll figure it out a little bit later. For now, I'm going to put my max output down to 1400 so that it's hopefully profiting RF, which it is now. But I, don't, I really don't know what's... Uh, What's costing this thing RF like that? It doesn't make much sense at all. These come across to power those. These are all fully powered. So it's not these. It, it has to be something over here. But the only thing running over here is this guy. And he's doing fine. Whoop, give me that. He's doing fine on his own, so it don't make any sense. Damn it, I don't understand. And it's like a steady mass pull. I don't know. What do we got right here? We got two capacitors. We're going to try to pull off making one more of these right quick. Just because... That'll give us 75 million RF. That's double what we had when we started this episode. And I think that that is pretty epic. Just saying. So pull another one of those out. No problem. The question is, can I pull off another Octatic? And I think I'm going to be missing out on Signalum. I think that's what's going to get me here. But I lied because I've got Signalum right there. Ha 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 ha. Put it in there. Put it in the box. Quit messing around. You're tearing up my heart. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, one, two, three. Oh, oh. Get it done. 
Why can't you get it done? Because you don't have these in there. One. Yes. Okay. There's one. We need one more. One, two. It's not going to happen. We need more signalum. One. One, two. Yeah. One, two. Yeah. There it is. All right. Now we need to go to this. And go. Nope. Okay, put you here. Put you there. Go. Yeah, we did it. We got three 25 million RF capacitor batteries. I want to make more of those. Okay, so let's output input. How are you? How is this even happening like this? This makes no sense. Let's unhook this from everything for a moment. Pop that off, pop that off. It's outputting as much as it's inputting out to this. What is possibly using power out here? This doesn't make any sense at all. Maybe I need one of those smallers to power these or something? Don't know. Uh, what does it take to make the 5 millions again? Just redstone electric steel? Okay, so one... Let's see, what am I missing? Signal. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. One, two, three, four of these. And then need a block of redstone. Okay, and throw that in there. Everything else should be here. So we'll make one of those. Okay, so this is where I had it set up before, and it was having zero issues. Okay, so. Zero in, zero out. Okay, let's take this one off. Let's go ahead and disable this one. Okay, so from here, see you just showed an, an output to what? What are you possibly outputting to right now? just doesn't make sense. It's only taking 400 in, even though it can take up to 5,000 and this can push up to 25,000. But it's only going to take in 400. It's acting like it has an output somewhere. This does not make much sense to me. Hmm. <laughs> Steadily pushing out. I wonder if it's just because that's the, because of the cable that I'm using. 
What is this? But this is supposed to transfer up to 800 at a time. That doesn't make any sense. Do I have that other power cable with me? Let's check. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. You have selected Woodman. Diamond tubes. Looking for some power conduit, guys. Don't know what I do with it. Maybe it's downstairs. Let's go look downstairs. Man, I made all the things I wanted to make for this episode, but I was really hoping to get started on something else that I've been wanting. And now I'm all distracted by this thing that's not working. Okay, you're supposed to transfer 600 already... 40 RF per tick. Come with me if you want to live. Otherwise, I'm going to scrap metal you. Okay, you're from your own mod. I would expect you would transfer the right amount of power. Okay, you're moving 640. That's great. That's even better. Awesome. Okay, why aren't you transferring your 800 like you're supposed to? This thing's transferring half what it's supposed to transfer. I wonder if it's bec I wonder if there's some type of a penalty for using that on this. That would not surprise me. Would not surprise me at all. And it would explain one of the recipe decisions that I've been questioning for a while now. Okay, so before we had it set up with this coming over to here, and I believe it's you, right? Five million? Yep, okay. Put you up there. But this is telling me that it is receiving zero input as of right now. And I know for a fact I'm sitting here looking at its input. It's got power. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Input. Is this what was wrong? Okay, that's working now. Is that, if that was what's wrong with the other one, I'm a fucking derp. Sorry, guys. It might be. Let's see. Input. Okay, so you're inputting power. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not see to do that. Okay, 183 in. Okay, is this my other big one? You're right here, yep. Okay, there's that. Zero output. Beautiful. Okay, let's pop you on there. 276. Beautiful, that's right where it's supposed to be. It's amazing what happens when you use things the way they're meant to be used, guys. There we go. There's my lovely 800 in, 800 out. Wait, 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 what, what, what's going on? Why are you dropping down? 550. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's how much I'm producing, power-wise. So that's okay. Uh, this? Now, that is definitely putting some strain on my system, but I think it's because I'm recharging, um, some capacitors like these. So that I'm actually completely fine with. Uh, put these back. That's the only. That's everything I broke, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so this can go. This can go. This can go. This can go. Although I am missing a piece of stone somewhere. But whatever. Hook that up again. Okay, that's beautiful. This one can come down to here. Okay, where are we at on video time here? Where are we at? What we got going on? Uh, properties. 
35 minutes. All right, guys. So I'm just going to do a little cleanup on my wall here. Got to put these stone slabby slabs back in place. And I got to find what I did with my freaky deaky little chisel because I'm always losing that, you know. I've got one somewhere, though. I know that. I don't know where, but I got one. Anyways, so there you go. We got we got these 25 million RF storage devices things built now, which is really cool. We got the painter built, so we're able to build this beautiful, luxurious facade, which I need to repaint that one to ma to match you know these other things. Where is chisel? Chiseler, chisel. Where are you, chisel? I need you. Now I've got an extra one because I kept losing it right there. Whoop. Right click. Chick a stick. Stone. Give me these. Yeah. Come over to Le Painter. Put this in. Where's the facade? Right there. I don't know. I still call these facades most of the time. People hate me for it. I don't care. Boom! It's beautiful. There's no longer a hole in your soul. Anyways. Guys, as usual, thanks for watching. If you liked it, like it. If you'd like to see more like it, subscribe. You'll be notified of when I'm doing things. And that lets you come watch me do more things. Which I think is cool. And hopefully you do too. I mean, you know, we're in this together. Um... But yeah, you should definitely come check out the stream. I got uh, Mr. Calder, who's commented on several of the videos, hanging out with me tonight, so that's pretty cool. Other than that, as usual, guys, y'all take it easy. Be good to one another. I'll see you next time.